It appears the majority of the hurricanes this summer have threatened land. 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Nick Bannon looked into what's guiding these storms and where they go. We've been talking a lot about land falling hurricanes this summer. And while we've had more hurricanes in past summers, we have been talking about a lot of the ones this year reaching land. Well, why is that? And it's all about how these storms get guided around uh, the Atlantic Ocean. And in many ways, this Bermuda High is responsible for where a lot of these storms go. A Bermuda High is a, basically an area of high pressure east or over Bermuda uh, that uh, moves clockwise the air around it. And in this way, if the high pressure is weak, then storms get steered around it toward the east coast, but then they stay offshore. This is kind of what's happening uh, with Jose, although the storm is getting a little closer to shore than we would like. As this high gets stronger, then we're more at risk for east coast land falling hurricanes, especially ones in the southeastern United States. And then when the Bermuda high is at its strongest, then you get more storms heading right into the Caribbean, like we're seeing a little bit with Maria and that we've also seen in the past with both Harvey and Irma. Now, a little movement in the high can still allow storms to hit the Caribbean and then slide harmlessly up the east coast. So this is not a way that encompasses all of the paths of storms, but it gives you an idea what's moving the storms and why. I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Nick Bannon.